Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with test route number two. We are headed back home and we're going to see how well it does on this section. Traditionally the route doesn't start until the bottom of the mountain, but uh, if I'm here on this lane, then I will go ahead and see how it does. Okay, so that one, in my opinion, could, it needs to um, stop further up ahead for the stop sign. It stopped too far back and then proceeded as if it um, looked. I mean, it was still it's still looking constantly. That's the thing we have to remember with the cameras is that they're always checking. It's not like, as a human, we check, look to the left to check and then we look back to the right as we're turning. Uh, but the car is looking both directions at the same time. So if a car is coming from the left that we would have missed, the car would see it. And that doesn't work great yet, but you can tell it's starting to. Um, they're starting to look, do that type of calculation. Okay, this unprotected left has always not been great, but this is, that worked really well. Um, it's crept up to where I could definitely see. Um, pause, checked, made sure there wasn't a car coming and proceeded and accelerated good. And also, oh, it just changed. It just changed. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and add a waypoint here and see if it can make it. Okay, so I can already see the light is red here, but the car is not slowing down yet until now. Uh, it needs to look further up ahead, in my opinion, for this light. But it's not like it's slowed hard, it's just it can start slowing beforehand, before it gets around that curve, just to make the experience overall smoother. Like this, again, was acceptable. You're gonna start hearing me nitpick a lot more. Oh. if it's going to try and slam on the, yep, it's going to try and slam on the brakes. Um, yeah, you're going you're gonna to see me nitpick a lot more uh, on these type of things, just to make sure uh, these are ways I want to see the car improve. It gave room for that person right there, which is good. And we actually need to, so I would normally go ahead and slow it down here. It definitely fixed this stop sign right here. The stop sign on the side street for over a year straight would make the car break. Like every other version, it would like fix it and come back, and fix it and come back, and it would be just terrible. Uh, but now it seems to be permanently fixed. And this is where I want to see the cars be a little bit smoother. Hey, that was pretty smooth, but it's not turning on the blinker. I have to turn on the blinker to. Yeah, we're gonna fail to merge onto road. Yeah. So glad we have that recording, everyone. Because I guess I thought I was gonna run the light. Uh, I'm so glad we have that recording because that right there is is an issue where I turned on the blinker and wanted it to get over and it refused. It was it would have been fine. It would have got really close to the curb. This truck was in my lane, and my car handled it well. Oh, and we slowed right down. Okay, good, we're getting over, which is nice. Because this is, um, a lot of times I would wait until past this light to get over, and wait, and it, you just don't have enough time with the traffic. It needs to, the, that spot was really delayed as it should ever try and get over. It should go ahead and get over way back um, right after you merge. It should just go ahead and get in the left lane. I have Oh, no way! <laughs> I think this is the first version that ever fixed that speed limit sign. It finally read the speed limit sign there and immediately adjusted too. That's, this is the first version to ever do that. That's fantastic. Especially because there's a cop right here to my left 
And if you're going 35, like, there's, like, it would go 35 all the way to the right here. And then in the old version, because it took so long to slow down, uh, you would be going over 30 mile an hour at the next light up here. And so it means you would be going 35 right here. And then not including if you had an offset to go faster over the speed limit, you would be going faster. Like, in this area, 20 mile an hour is an appropriate speed because of the amount of people usually walking around this. And you're pr fairly narrow right in this area with the buildings and everything. So it's just... 35 is absurdly fast, considering the speed limit is 20 right here. And so, one thing I've never noticed, uh, noted in any of my videos is this light right here. It's green right now, but far back, if the sun is shining just right, it looks like it's red. Uh, it looks like the opposite of what the light is. Um, and I, as a human, like I literally could not tell what the light was. And with the sun shining on it just right it's these new LED lights or something I guess they just have that weird refraction or something like that and it's just as a human I wasn't able to tell we had a good phantom break there that's excellent behavior now well ideally I would have got in front of this truck but I would much 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 prefer a robo taxi to go ahead and get in this lane far up ahead like this from my point of view is hyper conservative but for a robo taxi that is what it should do uh, as a um, local of this area i know i can at least get past the next light up here and then get over in this lane right so i don't need to um not sure why it turned on the blinker there I think it's having a little bit of an issue figuring out what lane to be in, but that is not, that is not right. See, now that was a bad move, because that lane ends, the right lane here ends into the mall, so it should not be going in that lane. I'm going to blinker here, let's see how it merges on the highway. fine just going to speed but I think for most people it probably needs to slow down see right here is what I would go ahead and get over like it should be changing lanes but it is not changing lanes until the very end and then it goes all the way over like this is bad it should not be doing that and needs to stay in the right lane there's no reason it should have gone over because I turned the blinker on and it, right now I think the reason it's doing that is because it considers the on-ramp an entire lane that that's not the case here very, very suddenly not. I know a lot of cities, the on-ramp just goes into uh, the lane. It just is the lane the whole way through, and they just keep on going, uh, exit the on-ramp, exit the on-ramp. And that's not the case here. The, the on-ramp ends immediately, so you have to get over. You can't just stay on the lane. And the only reason it, it merges over is because it, just, it, run, it knows it runs out of lane, so it has to get over. And it doesn't merge onto the highway it just you know zippers it, it just runs out of space and so that's the only option it can do and i, th I don't their merge logic is isn't there and it needs to work okay so that was appropriate i think in my eyes the, the traffic is coming up a little bit fast behind me but the, the lane change was appropriate for how slow the cars in front of me are going and how fast relatively I was going to be able to pass them. Now we're going to see, ideally I would like to just pass this truck, but it seems like I'm probably going to end up getting changing lanes back over would be my guess. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. The, person, the truck behind me is like starting to like ride my bumper. But that handle, that's great. That That's like fantastic behavior uh, for lane changing. That's exactly what I would have done as a human. Maybe a little bit quicker to get back over, but the car is just being given a little bit extra, uh, a little extra room um, between the cars. Okay, that was appropriate.
for it too because everyone slows down to get off this uh, this interchange right here. And that was a very appropriate uh, changeover. Now it needs to get back over again. Unless it thinks it's going to catch up to this, the truck on the right. Yeah, yeah, that's wow, fantastic. Really good lane changer behavior. Okay, so that should not get over in that lane. It probably, because I was starting to catch up to these cars here, uh, the car needs to slow down right here. And it should not have changed lanes. There's no reason it needs to change lanes here. change lanes right here, well, it would have to have been aggressive, now it needs to change lanes, like, I'm, okay, so I did that before I pressed, pressed the, um, turn single, unfortunately the car in front of me can't accelerate very quickly, I don't know why this van is deciding to slow down so much, we're not safe. too much uh, before it gets off the highway here. I think that was pre-programmed from the early beta days and it's still stuck here uh, but it's slowing even more aggressively with version 11. Or aggressively is not a good word but it's slowing sooner before it gets off the highway. See how it does at this unprotected left and we'll be done. I guess it had the one disengagement just because I didn't like what it was doing. Otherwise, this would have been zero disengagements, which is starting to be more and more regularly uh, that this drive is zero disengagements. We'll see if maybe in the next... Oh, no. Okay. I heard that motorcycle before I saw it. Um, and I don't, I'm certain the car isn't listening yet. Uh, so I'm glad it saw that motorcycle. Um, it had just a single, obviously a single light on it. Uh, that, that was good. It saw it, it stopped. And um, we're good to go. Um, yeah, everyone, uh, if you have questions, as always, put comments down below. I'm hoping by this time, by the time you see this video, uh, everyone here has version 11. Uh, please let me know down below what you think, as always. And I will see you next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.